Hi everyone, it's Dee from Dee's Divine Guidance here for the sign of Pisces for the month of March, a general reading. Um, I feel as though you guys have been through some heartbreak or are going to go through. Um, you have the Five of Pentacles here, which is about being left out in the cold, um, like feeling um, not good enough. You could see the dog barking, like you know, like being attacked, just being left, right? And then you have the Ace of Cups. So this is like about a new beginning, a new relationship. Um, so I feel as though at some point you felt left out in the cold, but then you might have had hopes of something new coming through. But then again, it ended in heartbreak or a third party situation. Okay, so it feels though you have a lot of inner conflict with yourselves. Um, because then, then again, I feel like you guys are going around in the same story, same story, same story. You have the lover's card, which is all about love and relationship and partnership. And so just like the Ace of Cups, but then you get the Ten of Swords, which is like stabbed in the back, um, left out in the cold. So I feel like you guys are just keep, you're holding on to something. So this might be like, you had you have a relationship with somebody and you break up and then you get back together and then you break up and then you get back together. Um, it's time to let it go. All right. If it hasn't worked the first round and it hasn't worked the second round, it is time to let it go. The fi the romance cards that you have here are finances and career. It says financial issues are a favor in your love life right now. All right. This might be one of the reasons why you want to stay with this person and you keep taking them back. Maybe they're providing you financially. Um, you don't know what you would do without them if they weren't there. And then you have the separation card. All right, guys. So it's time apart from your partner is on the horizon. It is time to break this cycle of what is going on here. All right. Um, the universe card you have is attack, pain, fear, judgment, and any form of separation are merely calls for help. Okay. So when you guys are breaking up, that is a sign for you to know that it's a call for help. It's a call for help for yourself. All right. And to take this person back and then break up and then take it back and break up. Um, it's not a good cycle and you need to help yourself. Okay. And then you have the card raising your standards. All right, so this is a general reading, but it's all about relationships. So it's kind of turned into a love reading here. But raise your standards, all right? This person that is in the cycle with you, you need to raise your standards. You need better than this, okay? You deserve more. You are, you are better than this. You deserve more of what you want and how you should be treated, okay? So whoever is in this cycle is not good enough for you. And you need to open your eyes and you need to see that. And then you have quiet time, which to me is, again, about the separation. So you need to take time for yourself away from what, whoever this person is in order for you to um, really, truly see, like, think, like step outside the box and look in, right? So you can see what this relationship truly is. And now if this isn't relating, if this isn't resonating with you with love, I just got that this could be about like a job, you know, like you want to quit and then you think that you don't and then you get passion about it and then you want to quit again. And it could be with finances. It could be going back and forth between jobs, um, you know, but maybe you just need some quiet time to figure out that maybe this isn't the industry for you. Uh, maybe you need a new career path. Um, but I am, I think that will resonate with a couple of you, but mostly I think this love, um, is going to resonate with most of you. Uh, so take the quiet time. All right. You really need to see the relationship for what it is and not when you're in it and the illusion that it, um, gives you. All right. You also have over here the relationship card. So it says your primary relationship is with yourself and God and every other relationship follows from there to attract, heal and or balance a relationship. Then snuggle more closely with your loving creator as you feel safe and loved within. So shall your other relationships bloom and prosper. So this is basically telling you that the more you can take the quiet time for yourself. Okay. And really start to focus on you and your relationship with the divine, 
God, whoever you believe in, you will start to realize how valuable you are and you will raise your standards for the next person coming into your life. Okay, but you have to take the time. You have to take the time to sit down, meditate, write in your journal. You have to see how valuable you are and how this cycle here is something that you're used to. I'm sensing a little bit of codependency here, needing validation, needing that person. Um, you know, they give you a little bit of love and it's like you just, you just cling because you're clinging on to the validation that this person's giving you. And that is why you keep taking them back. And that is why your standards are so low because you need that validation. And no matter who's giving it to you, you will, you will ignore all the red flags. Okay, so don't do this to yourself. Break this cycle. Okay, um, get into your faith, get into your religion, get into spirituality, and you will see that the creator is, loves you more than you love yourself. And if you could feel a little bit of that love, you wouldn't let somebody put you through this cycle here. Okay, and then you also have the child card. And it says you care deeply about children and they readily respond to your love. All children, including your own inner child, require love, affection, and attention. We can clear and open your heart and schedule so that you can give more time and energy to the children who need you. I'm getting with this is that you need you, okay? Pretend you were your child. What would you say? Would you have them go through this cycle? You would tell them to get this person out of their lives. How come you can't do that for yourself, okay? Treat yourself like a child. What would you tell yourself? What lessons would you want your child in this situation to learn? Okay, this is not a good feeling. Okay, you can see, you can't go on, you're stabbed in the back. It is time to break this cycle. Okay, if you like this video, please hit the subscribe button to see more. Um, if, you, if this resonates, leave me a comment. I like to see those comments. And thank you for being here and have a great March. Bye guys.